Hey guys and welcome to Performance Cars and today I have a lovely little red Toyota MR2 Roadster. So this is called the MR2 Roadster in the UK, MR2 Spider in the US and MRS in Japan. We're starting off from the rear because this car has the engine in the back and that's just above here. This is also rear wheel drive and it makes it really fun. It currently has the hard top installed. Uh, this is removable and you also get the soft top which makes it a really nice summer car. These are standard Toyota alloys running 185-55-15s at the front and 205-50-15s at the rear. We have the air intake on the sides here. There's one on the other side. At the front, this is just storage for the spare wheel. So you don't actually get any luggage space. There's a nice lower lip. and a little rear spoiler at the back. Single exhaust. I'm gonna show you where the spare wheel hold is. So this is what you get from the front. Midship runabout, that is what the MR stands for. Brake reservoir there. So underneath here should be the spare wheel. With the tool bag. And that's about it. Space is quite limited in this car. So this is a completely standard MR2 Roadster. It's running a 1.8 litre 1ZZ engine, which is very similar to the one in the Toyota Celica. So we're looking about 138 brake horsepower and 125 foot-pounds of torque. This might not seem a lot compared to cars of today, but due to the fact that this is very light, it does well to keep up with many cars. So we'll move on to the inside. Starting with the door, we have a very nice thick handlebar, as well as the tweezer and the speaker. The steering wheel, as well as the white face dials, reminds me a lot of the Toyota Celica, the UK one at least. Down on the right here, we have the mirror switches, door locks, lovely sports pedals as well as the original MR2 mats we have a pair of nice leather seats so we have a single cup holder there as well as two more down here there's heater and fan controls this model has aircon Inside the glove box, this is where you get the lever to open the front hood. This is a five speed manual gearbox. And the window switches are also down here. And to take off the hard top, you have four latches. So you have the first one there, as well as one on the driver's side, and one on each corner of the hard top. Also, don't forget to remove the rear dim mister plug. As soon as you remove those, you can just lift the hard top out and then you pull on here and your soft top will come up. So this car doesn't have much storage space. You have one just up here. Obviously the glove box some down on the side by the doors if you tilt the seats forward you have two extra luggage space here so just pop them down and you can more or less fit two rucksacks in here so I want to start off with the engine it's strange to have the engine behind me as I mentioned earlier because you're getting the noise from back there rather than in front as with many cars 
We only have 138 brake horsepower, which isn't much. But once you get it going with the lightweightness of the car, it does shift. You get a lot of the tire noise coming through the cabin, and the steering is really agile. I'd say it's super sharp. Turning into this roundabout, if you're going in a bit too hot, you will get understeer, especially since the roads are quite damp today. And it really feels like a go kart. Plant your foot too early, and your back steps out. So you really have to be careful. This five speed gearbox feels really nice, it engages nicely and it downshifts just as well. Helen Toe is easily performed, pedals are nicely spaced. The gear knob is a bit strange, I mean it has a square design at the top, but it's not something that you have to get used to. So I'm liking the interior on this MR2 Roadster. It may seem like a really small car from the outside, but it's not too cluttered in here. I mean, I can easily reach the knobs on the heater controls. I can read the dials easily in front of me. And the switches, the nice place down here by the handbrake. As well as an armrest towards the left for my elbow when I'm shifting the gears. I don't have to keep my arms suspended. So that's quite a nice touch. So I want to say a big thank you to Ginny for letting me drive her lovely MR2 Roadster today. It really is a fun car. You can enter the roundabout at a decent speed, do your downshifting and then upon exit, if you get too happy on the throttle, the back will step out a bit. So that was quite exciting. These cars are often overlooked. Um, you get your rear wheel drive, engines in the back, handling super sharp. Uh, the only downside was the, was the engine, the power from the engine. But being a Celica engine, I'm pretty sure you can drop in the higher spec 190 brake horsepower one and that would make things much more exciting. So a normal Toyota MR2 Roadster with the hardtop would weigh in at 1,030 kilograms. This one is weighing in at 1,028. So don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Stay safe, drive safely and I'll see you next time. Hey guys and welcome to Performance Cars. And today I have a JDM Honda Civic SIR. This is an EG6 model and was only sold in Japan. So it makes it quite special. Let's get to it. <laughs> 